Today, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Annika Klaassens, who is a Dutch medium and a teacher and has her own school of mediumship. So welcome, Annika. Thank you, Helen. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. It's great to see you. It's great to have you here. And I'm very excited to talk to you today because um, I know I've before I actually met you in person, I've known of you for a very long time. And we have a number of friends and colleagues in common. And then I had the pleasure of being invited to your school of mediumship. And I think I came three, three or four times to you, I think. And it was absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it was really yeah. wonderful because, um, because you have this school of mediumship and you have a program. Every time I came, I could see the progress made by the students that I'd met on the previous visits. It was a wonderful thing for me to witness. And um, I'm going to ask you if, if you could tell us how it all began, the mediumship, the teaching, the school, anything you like. Anything I like, okay. <laughs> well, um, I think uh, I was about 14 years ago when I went to a lady and I didn't know who she was. Uh, some friend recommended her to me and um, we... Um, I went together with my partner and um, this lady said, well, to my partner, your mom isn't uh, in the spirit world yet. And I was, okay, well, she already died several years before. So that I found that a bit strange. And, and, and then I looked and I thought, well, I can sense her here, but you know, I didn't know anything about mediumship or anything. So, so I said to her, but I can, I can sense her and I, I can see that she's here with her daughter. And this lady said, yes, yes, but you're a medium. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not. And uh, she said, and I, uh, just before I had a sort of, an, when I woke up, I saw my grandmother standing next to my bed. Like I can wow. see you now. And um, it was a great experience, but, my grandmother didn't say anything. She, there was one tear coming out of her eye. And wow. oh. so I said to this lady, yes, I saw my grandmother. Um, and she said, yeah, what was she doing? I said, well, she was crying. And she said, no, there was one tear coming out of her eye. And I thought, Ooh, <laughs> how do you know that? Um, but she said, yes, you're, you're a medium and you should explore it. And so I went online and I saw this course. You um, you can you can learn mediumship. So I was intrigued by that. So I went on a course and yeah, it all came together. And I thought this is what I want to do. So um, I also went to the Art of Inky College. Yes. Um, and I set myself a big goal. I had to do it then. Well. As you know, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so, um, so I started to uh, relax into that and I thought, well, I owned a, a business of uh, uh, golf gifts, like in the golf sport. Um, well, I sold that and I thought, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I feel this is the way I'm supposed to go. And yeah. Um, until today, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Um, in the meantime, then my, uh, my mom passed away. And uh, right after that, um, I had a, a call from a TV station. They were doing uh, an Uri Geller show yeah. uh, in Holland. And they asked me to um, teach the host of the show to train her sixth sense. So I said, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know what I was going into, but it was really a, a, a great experience. This host uh, is a lady called Betty Brart. She's well known in Holland. And um, yeah, she was, she was very psychic and mediumistic. So uh, 
we uh, ended up doing like a different show with it. And um, yeah, after that, it just went crazy here. Everyone was calling me and I started, I was already started teaching and yeah, yeah it, it, since then it was really uh, uh, busy and yeah, I love every minute of it. Yeah, I remember when I came to visit, you showed me the the TV show and it, it was absolutely brilliant. It was so professional, you know, it was very well done, you know, not sensational or anything like that, yeah. very professionally done and and I loved it, you know, I, I really loved it. So, so that really uh, catapulted you into the public of people. Yes. And so everyone out there who who was looking for something knew where to come to now. Yeah. 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 So it was immediately, it was very busy. Um, and when I was at the uh, Art of Finkley College, um, I met Mavis Patilla. Yes. And, uh, Janet Parker. And they both told me that I should start teaching. Good. Um, because Mavis said, you can only learn it um, when you start and when you're when you're doing it so um yeah i started off like that and and mavis came along uh, many times to holland and i went to england england for many times yeah uh, to manchester where she organized weekends with tony stockwell and you know uh, yes. many of the artificially tutors yeah and yeah i learned a lot during that time and it's it's it was really good because I feel mm. that you keep on learning all the time. It's never finished. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, definitely it, it is. And and I love it when you come across a new challenge with a new student because you learn so much as well as, you know, how to help them. You find a way to help them, but in the process, yeah, you learn so much yourself, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, it's wonderful. And um, what really interests me, though, Annika, is how different or challenging it must be in Holland. Because if I compare it, for example, to um, the UK, for example, there are a lot of spiritualist churches. There's the Arthur Finley College there, the College of Psychic Studies. There, there was SAGB, uh, you know, in a much larger format. What is there in terms of developing mediumship in Holland? You know, uh, how much is there that's available? Well, we do have some, some really good mediums here. And uh, they own their private schools, and uh, uh, like, like I do. And um, most of them uh, went to the college many, many times. Um, yeah. And yeah, so there is, is quite a lot in Holland. Um, I think like maybe eight years ago or something, it was really like booming. It, it was really on, on a high um, thing that everyone wanted to do mediumship. I think now it's a bit more um settled it's it's a bit more um relaxing i think people are interested but i feel um yeah i feel there is a, a shift going on right yeah and, well, and is, is yeah. that shift more towards spiritual development rather than just giving evidence yeah. of you know our loved ones in spirit yeah people start out like training their intuition Mm. And, and many people are interested in, in doing like the mediumship, but also uh, people are interested in developing themselves and how, um, mm. how they are in life. And, and I feel that's, that's an important thing of, uh, of your development is, is how are you as a human being? How are you in life? How are you in your relationships? Uh, yeah, it, it's, you have to look at yourself as well. I think that's fascinating and so important. Um, yeah. I, I wonder if it ties in with, with a, a theory that I have is 
the reason we don't have a lot of very young mediums is they haven't had that personal experience, that personal mm -hmm. development that comes with, you know, um, well, just comes over time with age. Yeah. And, and, and so that need to develop the self is, yeah. is very key. And so that's why we don't get too many teenage mediums yeah. um, because, you know, they're still got to be out there enjoying life and developing the self. Yeah. But um, you do a lot of uh, workshops and you often have visiting mediums as well. And, and I think that's really lovely because uh, as well as the regular program that you offer, you also bring in other people for them to work with in a different way. And, um, you know, are, are there any great experiences or anything you'd like to talk about that? Oh, yes. Well, I, I have you over. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy every time I work together with, with uh, I'm a, I mainly have foreign mediums over. Um, I, I used to start out uh, working with Mavis a lot and, um, yeah. and then with, uh, uh, with Lynn Probert. Uh, she still comes along every year and uh, she's just been here. And yeah, it's always great. Um, um, when I had you over, I, I really enjoyed the animal communication. Yeah. Um, because it was so... Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a big animal lover. I've oh, treated yes. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was really interested in that. And, and I like exploring new things. And um, I, I really much enjoyed all the new things you explored as well, because yeah. I know that you like to get into something and uh, really um, dig into everything. And, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I, I had some some great times. Um, I used to do like organizing an, uh, a weekend here in Holland um, with a foreign medium, and we had a whole weekend with students at a, a place we started out years ago. We called it the Castle Weekend, oh. where we explored all the old things in mediumship. Um, like with the crystal ball and the dancing tables and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the mediumship, the old way and also the new way. So it's, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And like, I think about five years ago, um, I started with doing retreats in, uh, on Ibiza. Yes, these, well, these are retreats new, yeah. uh, sound f fantastic. And when I see the photographs, it's just like, wow, you know, a beautiful island. Yes. You know, great company, great food, because uh, Monique is a brilliant cook as well. So yes, everyone gets fed amazing. very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I shifted a little bit because I do like a, a normal week of mediumship uh, there, but also I started out with a week because I had um, um, a lady who came to me all the time, her husband passed and she was sort of wanted to talk to him all the time, but I wanted to get a little bit of time between the sittings. And, um, but she kept coming year after year and then suddenly I thought, well, for those people who want a little bit more, um, maybe we should offer them a week. And uh, so we, we, we are doing a week called The Power of Love, where uh, the people can uh, come who love, uh, a loved one is lost. And yes. um, because they all know how it feels. And yeah, we started with that four years ago. And the first week already was amazing. Yeah. Um, we do like meditations. I let them, um, uh, yeah, sense their own um, loved ones come closer. Uh, I do an evening of, uh, of that I make contact. So, yeah, we do all sorts of things, uh, nice ceremonies, and uh, yeah, I love it. It's yeah. um, because I was thought well. When your loved one passes, it's very difficult to feel your own 
um, mother or father or brother, you know, it's, it's always much easier to go to another medium to yeah. ask about it. But um, yeah, it, it can bring a lot of comfort for people to be like mourning for, it's not really mourning, but be in the presence of their loved ones for a yeah. week. Yeah, that's wonderful, isn't it? I yeah. mean, and and I think the what's what's special, I think, about that is it takes you out of your normal situation, puts you somewhere very beautiful, in yeah. a in a place with people you can feel very safe with, yeah, um, and gives you that headspace as well. Which when we're going through the normal daily routine and home is the same and everything you know and work. It must be very difficult, but to actually take time aside for yourself to experience, explore and share um, is very valuable. Yeah. yeah, because I think when, when someone passes, you, you go through the funeral and then normal life goes on again. Yeah. But when you're together with your husband for over 50 years, your life will never be the same and and people stop listening to you because they find oh yeah that's her again with the same old story but you know and and especially we had a few people that lost their son um yeah it's just being there together again um yeah that's amazing and and people love it and and i love it as well it's um it's really the power of love, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've seen the photographs many times and it really is very beautiful. Yeah. Something yeah. that fascinates me, though, is that I'm really interested how you have combined the approach of spirit, mediumship, self-development, but the therapeutic side of that. And I know that you have over the last few years, um, you know, explored the therapeutic aspects, which mm -hmm. I think is fantastic and has probably one of the most important places in spiritual development and mediumship. Mm -hmm. and, and I wondered if you could tell us about how that came about. Okay, well, um, I, I had one of my students, he was a therapist, She's called Sonia, and um, well, we sort of started to chat because through the years, because I do like a three-year course, um, I saw her develop, and and we talked about her work as well. And she was also doing a thing called uh, Family Constellations, uh, which was uh, started by uh, Bert Hellinger. He is a German. Uh, Mm -hmm. man and um he sort of found out that um you have like this family system and um for example uh say your grandfather did something not so good in during the war um and the grandson is going to work for amnesty international because he feels he has to save the world um, and it's like he's bringing his granddad's burden with him that he is doing that. So um, everyone has their own place in the family. Mm. Um, the older brother goes first and the younger brother goes last. But we find that many people are not in the right spot. Some people standing next to their parents or some people standing like above their parents. So it's mm. uh, when you're above your parents, you have to watch everything. And I feel that people who are very sensitive um, find that, that they are in the wrong spot in their family. Um, I see. It's not all the time like that. But um, yeah, I started to explore that because Sonia was doing that and I let her do it every year. And um she comes to do like a day in the in the groups as well um but yeah i i found that during my sittings there were many family problems as well um with people they loved they lost a loved one yeah. like 
their mother and dads have a new relationship and it's been difficult. So I started to explore it as well. I've done some courses and um, I'm sort of combining it all together in my own way. And um, yeah, it, it, it's really helpful. Uh, yeah. Mediumship for me is still my number one. <laughs> it will always be my, my, my yeah. big love, but I like to explore how people work, how they do what they do and why they do it. But I also think, and yeah, I mean, I know you're absolutely uh, born to be a medium um, and I know you have a great passion for it. Um, but I also wonder with the therapeutic side that that must have an enormous benefit, um, not just on a personal level, you know, when you're developing, but if you are conducting mediumship and you have an understanding or a sensitivity to the dynamics in relationships, then yeah. the information and the quality, I think I, I can only imagine is much more significant than just finding out who it is and what they what they did and what their name was. We've actually got all the dynamics happening here. So that awareness is amazing. And I, and I think that's, you know, a lot, a lot, a, a lot of people would be very interested to explore that even more. Yeah. It's really helpful because, you know, you, you bring yourself along all the time. And, and I found that I saw all my students struggle with the same things and, you know, um, and and when they have this insight of of the same thing, they keep repeating. Yeah. Um, and I have an, they have an insight. It it helps their mediumship as well. Yes, definitely. And yeah. and also, I think to be able to understand those dynamics would then be wonderful to then apply it to people you don't even know to be able to step outside of it as the medium and see it as a whole rather than just I'm focusing on one person and and trying to prove it's them yeah yeah we've got a story here we've got personalities we've got dynamics it's fantastic so yes. they're very complimentary definitely oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. and you know it, it it's just fascinating to me how how it works and and how we keep on repeating the same thing over and over that it's not good for us but we still keep on doing it <laughs> and it's uh, yeah. yeah so it, it's i've learned a lot of of it myself as well and and I also had some great uh, discussions with Sonia because she would say something to me which I would not accept. And, <laughs> and then after I explored it, I sometimes had to say, "You're right," but it's it's yeah, it's it's interesting. We keep it, it, yeah, and and that is one of the keys, isn't it? Is is being constantly challenged, even with things you think at first. No, I disagree with that, and you may always disagree with it, but. Yeah the fact that you challenge yourself is fantastic in this line of work yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And, and i mean you know mediumship's always been with us but we have got caught up in the way it's been presented to us over the last sort of 50 60 70 years rather than the fact that they would have been using it you know thousands of years ago but in a very natural different way yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I've, I find that when I started out, it was all about the evidence, uh, yeah. like names and streets and everything. And, yes. And it's, it's more about bringing comfort now. And, you know, the evidence, if, if people come to a medium regularly, they, they don't need to hear how their loved one passed or they no. don't really know that, you know? Yeah. Uh, they want to know, can they see me? Uh, do they know I bought a new house? Do they know I've got this or that? You know, that's that's all they want. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we 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 need to have a little bit of evidence to know it's definitely who Absolutely. they say it is. But um, 
absolutely it's how it is in your life and what it means to you rather than uh just information yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's getting more personal and and mm. um it was great when when lynn was over here like a few weeks ago i saw that the the big change with her as well going that way and yeah it's, it's it was really good to see that even in england they're starting a bit more um going out of well still the evidence is important but yeah getting a little bit more than just evidence I think things are changing as well is, 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 I mean, I know my attitude was, I know with my training, it was all about evidence and proving things until I just sort of woke up one day and said, you know, nobody can prove anything to anyone and it doesn't matter how good you are. And what you've got to do is just do your job. And this is yeah. a spiritual environment and, but nobody can actually say I proved it because no matter how accurate you are, someone could say, no, I still don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it, the, the, it, it's moving into a much more holistic uh, yeah. arena, which, you know, where I think where, where you've moved as well, combining the therapeutic and the retreats and the time for the soul and the spirit to develop as well as the mediumship. Mediumship yeah. is in a much better place when it's holistic in your life, I think, than, you know, true. let's impress people with a name and a street and a, you know, and, and, and a shoe size, which you already know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I always think when I go to the spirit world, I'm, if I've got the chance to get a message, I'm not going to waste my time spelling out the road I lived in, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or how big my feet were or how tall I am, you know, or short. Um, yeah. but, but there will be things. And I, and I, I love this holistic approach. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a funny thing because when I, when I was, well, doing a lot of courses in England and some people, people got up and demonstrated and saying it's five foot six. And I thought, how big is that? I don't yeah. know. We don't have feet. So you're in, you're <laughs> in centimeters and, and meters and centimeters. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah you're you're ahead of uh, uh, the UK for sure. We're still in the old <laughs> imperial. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I, I like the way it, it it's moving towards, and you know, um, with with the new situation in the world right now, with with the, the coronavirus. I think mediumship is going to change again because there's a lot of yes. people going through a really hard time right now. Um, you know, like in Italy, when yeah. people uh, are not allowed to go to a funeral, yeah. uh, they're not allowed to be there with the last moments of their loved one. And I think mm -hmm. what we have to do as mediums as well is to provide information about um, what what is happening the last few hours uh, how does how does it work when you go to the spirit world what's it like when you're there uh, are the people still in pain are they what do they know can they hear me can they see me there's so much misinformation out and i think yes it's it's going to change um that way as well that we have to um yeah share our experience with that yeah. and it will comfort people I, I i suppose because i think that it's needed because there's so many people now dying alone in the hospital um yeah. and and for instance and i don't know if that's the way uh in your country now but um the the, the nursing homes are closed here so you're not supposed yeah. to see your mom or your dad or yeah yeah my mother she's 92 and they're on lockdown there yeah. and the staff are really great doing extra activities and stuff but none of us can visit her so they've set up facetime and skype and got everybody's numbers so you can arrange to they'll go in and bring the phone and you can have yeah. a little video chat but yeah with three month lockdown yeah yeah at the moment yeah. yeah, and that's really hard for people, you know, and, and I think loneliness is going to, to be a subject for people and 
um, and, and maybe people were with families in their home all together suddenly <laughs> killing each other. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Remember that, yes, yeah, one day we'll look back at this and there'll be very specific memories to when we were all locked down or self-isolating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, it is difficult. And I mean, mediumship will change. I mean, people are teaching, people can't now run their classes, can they? So a lot of people yeah. are doing online work as well. Yes. Yeah. I do, I, I do, do my sittings online and, yeah. and I'm glad it's there and, and there is a possibility to do it. Um, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm very much into personal contact and I, I feel also with teaching mediumship, it's, um, well, like we do now uh, have this meeting through Zoom, which is yeah. a very good program. But when all the people are in their own breakout rooms, um, normally you could see them all work and watch their energy and everything. And now it's it's more difficult, I think. It's, yeah. it's a we solution, um, but it doesn't work for everything. It's not the same, is it? And I, I know in the past, this is very interesting to hear because although it's a good substitute, it isn't the same. Yeah. And um, a number of times I've been asked to teach trance online and I have done and it's worked to a degree, but I don't find the same satisfaction as being in the room where the energy is building, where you're seeing how people are reacting it's not the same so but if you can't get to a group or if you're isolated for whatever reason I am so grateful that there is something and teachers like yourself you know there there's possibilities in the future aren't there yeah 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 definitely yeah. well Annika it, it's been brilliant to speak to you it really has it's been great chatting to you, Helen. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and it, it, it's <laughs> wonderful to to hear what's you know happening in Holland and and you know your journey as well. And and I really love this where you know we're talking about bringing the therapeutic side and the mediumship because it should be therapeutic, really, shouldn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Uh, I that's how I feel, and it's lovely to talk to you about that. And I hope that, you know, things settle down with the, the coronavirus at the moment and people can start meeting again, you know, yeah. as soon as possible. But I mean, during this time, it's wonderful of you to come on here because it means we get to, to hear from great teachers in yes. the Netherlands and around the world who's out there, what they do and... Um, what we can look forward to as well yes yes yeah. thank you so much so thank you thank you annika Klaassens. thank you helen and it was nice to speak to you and to see you again yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs>